Hey guys, in this student spotlight, I'm going to help VJ with his alternate picking. Uh, before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And please submit your own question to me, uh, your own video question, to be spotlighted here on this YouTube channel, and hopefully I can help you out with something in your playing. All right, so let's check out VJ's question real quick. Okay, so basically my problem is uh, with economy picking style, like in the lick like some of the fast lick and metal like uh, from the song uh, Hill to the King by Evan Sevenfold it uses uh, alternate picking and economic picking at the same time so I'm having problem uh, in those fast licks uh, additionally I want to tell you that uh, I'm having a strange, strange kind of picking style like I usually pick with my middle finger and thumb and placing my pinky uh, as a reference here to ankle up so I want to ask you that that whether for long terms it will be a bad habit for me for playing more metal stuff for regarding fast stuff so here's the lick back so <laughs> part as well we are using our so when like I'm doing it fast I'm not able to you know play it it's it's a mess for me so hopefully you can tell me what to do thanks all right VJ economy picking uh very very cool technique um to learn I have an entire economy picking course in my academy link is in the description you get a free uh, seven day trial just leave that put that out there but the link for my academy hopefully you guys will check that out it's in the description um so let's talk about this now um sinister gates is uh, a very good economy picker and it drives a lot of people crazy that are learning his stuff uh, because they try to alternate pick everything so i'm glad at least you're picking up on the fact that it's economy picked um, <laughs> Uh, so, now, uh, something about your, your technique here that we, a few things we can talk about. One is the, um, the, high, the, the way you hold the pick. Now, you, you mentioned that you kind of hold it kind of unorthodox, kind of hold it a little bit like Eddie Van Halen does. Now, there's some people who have done fine with that, like uh, Eddie Van Halen. Um, what it does is it... it, it it doesn't make you to be quite as be able to manipulate the pick quite as much as um, as, as more of a sensitive fashion as you will want to be able to do, especially if you're doing economy picking. So you, when you're doing licks like that, what I'm doing there, so so obviously I have my I'm holding my pick between my my thumb and my index. The reason why is because the the those two kind of together work together very well they uh, have a lot of independence from one another and um, the index finger is very strong and you can feel it up against that thumb really well and you can manipulate the pick in there and that manipulation of the pick is what really makes economy picking the really good economy pickers um, very good at it. is because they're not straight using like uh, alternate picking and then like an elbow movement to move across strings. They're not doing it like that. What they're doing when they're going across is they're they're using a lot of movement like that from just those two fingers working together. So they call it sometimes they call it circular picking. You've got somebody like Ingve who does a lot of um, economy picking as well. And you'll notice that when Ingve is playing on one string, and by the way, Ingve is a great resource for anybody who wants to be just a great picker of the, on the guitar. Whenever he's playing on one string, so he's got his licks that he likes to play. Like... So he'll do something like that, right? And you'll see his, he'll be really moving from the wrist and he'll have a lot of motion there, a lot more motion than he does when he goes across strings. So you watch him, when you watch him play, when he's going across strings, all of a sudden that motion goes away. And it's a very small hand movement from there. It's very economical and it looks more like this. 
So it's not like that when he's playing on one string. When he goes across, he's using more of these two fingers together to get around those strings and just have extremely minimal hand movement. Now, so this uh, circuit of picking is, is kind of hard uh, to um, teach because it's really just a feel thing of you're kind of manipulating the string. Basically, changing how, how the resistance of the string by going, kind of pushing it away, uh, pushing the pick away and it back. And you're not doing like this huge circular motion, it's a very small motion. But so to practice this kind of thing, you're going to want to break this up into like just little patterns. So you can say that this could actually be the same pattern done three times. I'm going to add a note here, I'm going to add a seventh fret on the low E string. So that's the pattern, it's a four note pattern. So I'm going down, down, up, down. But watch, I don't need to go move the hand, move the arm to do across strings. The movement was, moved, I moved it there with the thumb and the index finger. I didn't have to move my whole arm or my hand there. And then we have the same pattern on these two strings. And then again. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice it like that at first. And then you practice it up into the first note of the next pattern. So act like you're going to repeat the pattern. So if we went, if I went all the way into that, so we have, so, so. So, just drop right there and then do, the, do it again. So break it down into little bite-sized pieces. Don't try to practice the whole thing like that, because that's where you kind of get off. You can, if you can see the patterns in it, you can just practice the pattern. And that is where, in those kind of uh, tiny little fragments, is where you start being able to man manipulate the pick and really feel it just kind of like you're... I just feel like I'm just kind of moving the pick into it. It's just kind of a weird feel, but you don't really get that when you're playing a whole pattern. So I would practice it like that. So practice each section just... feels like just one movement. And then we have the... Actually, you can make it down into two licks. You can go... And then... Then... So we went from three patterns to now two patterns and then one. All right, so it really has to do with being creating a really sensitive feel for the pick against the string and helping the pick get across the string. So every person I see that's very good at economy picking has a lot of movement with their, does a lot of it but just using these two fingers. And that's why it's important to hold the pick with those two fingers if you want to get very good at economy picking because these two fingers have more control than if you're using uh, your middle finger and your thumb. And so it's going to be allow you to be a lot more sensitive to the, what the string feels like when you're using that motion, that little circular motion to kind of push through the string. So that kind of stuff like that, you don't see my hand really just going crazy because a lot of the picking is actually just coming from this little circular motion between these two fingers. So like I said, it's, it's difficult to teach because it's a more of a feel thing, but once you get it, it completely changes your technique and it relaxes the rest of your hand. So it's also important, you talked about with the when you're planting your 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 pinky. Now I'm 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 big on planting, but I'm more, uh, I like the plant to come from higher up in the hand, a more stable part of the hand. So, um, so when we're, when I'm talking about where I'm planting, I'm planting kind of like if I take this, this muscle underneath the pinky and this big area that really makes up like the outside edge of your palm, 
this area closer to the wrist here is kind of where I'm doing my planting. So from right at the wrist up to about the mid of, middle of that muscle, that's what's laying on the strings here. So that's where I make a connection with the guitar. It's a lot more stable than anchoring with a, a finger. Um, now, your finger can touch the, the if, your, if your hand is relaxed, your fingers are probably going to be on the pit guard. It's not a bad sign that they're there. You just don't really need to angle them. There are players, once again, that do, you can find a player that's great that, that plays in midair. You can find players that just, you know, hack up three fingers on the, on the pit guard and just pick like this. And they can do fine for their technique. But I think the majority of people who are very good at picking, they have their hand planted kind of like that, where they use that back of the palm. And it helps also keep the other strings quiet. So when you're, when I'm following that, that palm kind of follows that across the strings and it's muting the strings as I go away from them. So, so you need all of those working together in order to get that kind of technique and make it sound smooth um, without a lot of noise. So I would first work on holding the pick in a more traditional way and then work on breaking up that lick into smaller pieces and then now after that focusing a little bit freeing up your index finger, the tip of your index finger and the tip of your, your thumb just working together manipulating the string and you're going to notice that very quickly you feel like you can go across strings a lot easier uh, because you can because you're do, you're, you don't have to do a big motion from your wrist um, or anything like that or your forearm you can do it all most of the movement coming just from uh, those two fingers working together all right i hope this helps good luck man bye